You, you don't have to like what this guy is about to say, but you can't say he's wrong either. So, so with that being said, let's go ahead and hit, hit up this intro. Yo, what's good, fam? Bam, it is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another review. Vidya, yes, yes, y'all. We are about to get into uh, a segment I've been wanting to react to for a good minute. I feel like this is a fitting follow up since the last video that your boy uh, did a reaction to. <laughs> um, and yeah, this is from uh, a comedian. Some of you may know this man, some of you may not, but he goes simply by the name of Bill Burr. He is one of my favorite comedians. Uh, this dude is funny as hell. I love watching uh, his uh, his stand up specials. You know what I'm saying? Because dude, dude, dude is just dude is just a natural born funny guy. You know what I mean? Um, and he definitely has the voice for it too. Um, not knocking it, man. Hey, he was given a gift. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So this is from Bill Burr's special. Uh, that, that was called You People Are All The Same. And this is a segment in his stand-up where he talks about, you know, women, um, you know, and why it's crazy that some people seem to think there's no reason to hit women. Not saying it's okay to hit women. I want to get that disclaimer out there. I'm not here to promote violence towards women of any kind. You know what I'm saying? No, don't do that. What, what, what he goes and talks about here is... You know, yes, there are reasons too, but that doesn't mean that you do it. So let's go ahead and get into the, the, the segment, and I give you guys more of my commentary, give you more of my my thoughts and everything. You know what I'm saying? So this so this video is called Bill Burr: No Reason to Hit a Woman. Um, how women argue, full from, you people are all the same. I don't know about y'all, but I like to hit hit. Go. No, we have these huge battles. You know what the maddest she ever got at me was? One time she was watching this show, it was like a poor excuse for The View, and they started talking about domestic violence, right? For the nine millionth time this year, they're talking about domestic violence, just in case, you know, you didn't get the memo, <laughs> you know? Evidently, you know, just some people didn't get it. It's not okay to slam your wife's head into the cupboard drawers <laughs> because she didn't dry the can opener off properly, you know? <laughs> gonna fucking rust right? <laughs> how do you not know not to do that shit do they really have to keep talking about it uh, who, who it's like wife beaters watching for oh fuck ah now i get it up so daisy sweetheart here we go there you go oh now i know i'm probably gonna get some people to give me flack or whatever like you oh, it's not funny this stuff really does happen true it does true it does but what he's saying here is like yo Common sense. Some guys are assholes. Some guys, some guys are, you know, are, are are abusers. You know what I mean? And sometimes they change. Sometimes they don't. You know, you can do all these TV specials. You can have people just, you know, keep talking about it and whatever. And if, like I said, if a dude is just that kind of a dude, then he's not going to change until the woman, you know, realize, you know what? I need to get out of this situation. You know what I'm saying? I mean... That's really, if you really want, want to change the dude, leave. Leave. See what that does to him. And don't leave thinking, oh, that he's going to change. He's a different person. You know what I mean? And therefore, okay, fine. You, you, you should just go back to him. No, no, no. Leave, leave him for good. You know what I'm saying? Go find you someone better. So at the end of the hour, they come to the logical conclusion. They're like, there is no reason to hit a woman. There is no reason to hit a woman. And I was just like, really? I could give you like 17 right off the top of my head. <laughs> you can wake me from a drunken stupor, I could still give you like nine. <laughs> Dude, there's plenty of reasons to hit a woman. You just don't do it. Okay, now keep that in mind. You hear what he just said? There are reasons to do it, but that doesn't mean that you should. He said you don't do it. But to sit there and suggest that there's no reason. <laughs> Dude, the level of ego behind that statement. Right? Right? I mean, come on. Let's not play ourselves, ladies. Y'all want to talk about how the man has an ego and everything. But yet, I bet I bet some of y'all, if not damn near every single one of y'all that has a man in your life, 
can't come up with a bunch of reasons as to why you you will want to hit your man. Not saying you should do it. I'm not here to promote domestic violence or nothing like that. So let's not get it twisted. But, you know, how often do you feel like, you know, knocking your guy upside the head because he did something or said something stupid or whatever? You know what I mean? Or did something or said something that, that you, you didn't like. You know what I mean? Bro, let's go. What are you, levitating above the rest of us? <laughs> You're never annoying? <laughs> Women, how many times have you thought about slapping your, your fucking guy in the head this week? Every day. There you go. You see that? One girl just said every day in the past week she thought about hitting her guy, you know, slapping her guy upside the head or whatever. And to be fair, dude probably deserved, probably would deserve it or whatever. You know what I mean? Maybe he did something or said something that made her feel like doing it, but... Every day. You didn't do it, right? See? Just because you have your reasons doesn't mean you should do it, and it doesn't mean that people, some people, actually do it. They may have the reasons to do it, but you, you don't do it. Oh, dude, it drives me nuts. There's no reason. There's no reason. Really? No reason? How about this? You marry a girl, you fall in love, you buy her a house. You go to work every day, paying off the house. You come home one day, she's banging the next door neighbor, hands you divorce papers. You got to move out, sleep on a futon, and still pay for that house that she's going to stay in. No reason. Right? Right? I'm not saying you should do it, but there's plenty of fucking reasons in that arc of a story. Right? See, there you go. You got some reasons right there. I'm just saying, it's a two-way street. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. It works both ways. All right, that was a hypothetical. <laughs> you want an actual story? I'll give you one. I'll give you one. All right, I fucked up my foot playing drums, trying to get my bass drum foot as fast as uh, John Bonham's. Because I figure that's a good thing to focus on. 43 years of age, never married, no kids. I figure this, this is going to lead me to the light, right? This, this, this is what I need to do. <laughs> so I don't know what I did. I, I felt like after I, I played for like an hour and afterwards, I felt like it, literally like there was some midget stabbing me in the bottom of my foot, right? Like I had lightning coming out of the bottom of my foot. So I did the typical guy thing. I'm like, I'm not going to the hospital. I'll sleep it off. I'll be fine, right? Next morning I wake up, my foot's even worse. And I got to walk my crazy dog. So I'm like, I can't do it. My foot's killing me. So I wake up my girl and go, sweetheart, sweetheart, can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Can, can you walk the dog for me? Can you uh, just take the shift? You know, I'll do your afternoon shift. Can you just do me this song? Can you do this for me? And she's just like, oh. You know, I had a late light, night last night. I'm tired. I have a big day. And I just go, fuck it. See it right there? My man was willing to trade shifts and walk in the dog. He asked this girl, you know, because his foot... He, he injured his foot playing the drums. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you, well, you, you heard him, man. He, he, he's like, look, he, he messed his foot up. It was really bothering him. So he asked his girl, hey, can you cover for me this time? Can you, you know, take the dog out this time? And then I'll take your shift. Fair exchange, right? Very reasonable, right? And the girl kind of like was making all these excuses, oh, late, late night, whatever, blah, 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 boom. There's one reason right there. Like, wow, no consideration for me, for my injury. You know what I mean? It's all about you and that, and whatever you did last night or whatever. Bro, you can't do me this one solid, this one favor. There's one reason right there. Again, I'm not encouraging violence towards anybody. I'm just saying. You, you, you can have your reasons, but that doesn't mean that you should do it. She goes, what do you mean, fuck it? It's like, why can't you just say no? Why do you always gotta like waterboard me with like a 20 minute explanation that eventually winds its way around to go fuck yourself? Just say no. Exactly, just say no. Like, nah, sorry babe, can't help you, I'm, whatever. Like, no. All right, fine, I mean, whatever. I mean, at least you didn't, you know, Took me around the world in 80 days, you know what I mean, with this long, crazy, drawn-out story. All right, fine, you can't do it. All right, cool, whatever. I guess I'll just have to tough it out. So I'm just limping out of the room. Whatever, go back to bed. You got a big day, right? <laughs> so now I'm, like, limping down the street. I got, like, Tourette's fucking goddamn bullshit. Dog's walking next to me. <laughs> I got to admit, I got a little childish. 
I did. I got a little childish, you know? I was just thinking about my relationship. I'm like, this, this is the relationship I'm in? You're just going to do whatever the hell you want to do, right? And fuck me? Fine. I'm going to do whatever the hell I want to do. I feel like listening to my iPod on full blast walking around the house. That's what I'm going to do. So that's what I did. Turned it all the way up, and I just, I, my whole plan was just to walk by her like I didn't even know her. That was it. She came down the hall. I just ghosted her. Just walked right past her. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to piss her off. And I got to tell you something. Work like a charm. <laughs> work like a charm. Yeah. Hung my coat up, turned around. By the time I turned around, she was already yelling at me. But the music was so loud, not only could I not hear her, it actually looked like she was singing the song that I was listening to. <laughs> Can, can you imagine blast of the rock music and your girl she's yelling at you whatever you can't hear her, but it looks like she's going like sing along with the rock song like <laughs> oh. Oh, it's one of the highlights of the relationship so I knew what she was saying it was like whatever I don't want to talk about it leave me alone I'm going on to the computer right so I limp over and I sit down and unbeknownst to me she's like no we're going to talk about this right now comes out poo, and slaps the headphones off my head another reason right there look and she came up and knocked the headphones off the dome piece there's another reason right there again I'm not saying to do it just that there, there's a reason right there I got a big I got big ears it fucking hurt mm -hmm. so I'm like honey leave me alone I don't want to talk about it put the headphones back on she comes right back up again Pooh, slaps them off a little harder this time they spin halfway around my head caveman dna starts coming up talking through my teeth honey leave me alone don't want to talk about it right see look at that all he asks is like yo just leave me alone you know what i mean let me have my time let me have my moment you know what i'm saying because i get it you know what i mean he's trying to blow off steam he's trying to release the anger and let it go so that way, you know, there's no real, like, the, 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 uh, it, it's not a huge fight or whatever. It can be a civilized conversation. You know what I'm saying? Put them on. And she kept hitting, well, not him, but she kept hitting his headphones. She kept, you know, swiping at his headphones, egging him on. Come on, ladies. Let's be fair. Third time she comes up, poof, slaps him right across the room, and I snap. I'm like, fine, you want to have the fight? Let's fucking have the fight. She's like, we will discuss this later when you calm down. Another reason right there. Ah, oh, right there. I just wanted to roll her up on her yoga mat and stuff her behind the couch. <laughs> leave her there until she got thirsty. Come on, let me out of here. I, I have a spin class. You've made your point. This is, this is ridiculous. No, that's the thing. Really is, that's the thing. I, I hate that saying there's no reason. Obviously, I'm not saying to hit a woman, you know? But saying there's no reason, I think that's crazy. <laughs> when you say there's no reason, that kills any sort of examination as to how two people ended up at that, at that place. If you say there's no reason, whoo, you cut out the buildup, you're just left with the act. Exactly. That, that, that's the one thing that always bothered me is... <laughs> When you hear stories about like uh, whether it's celebrities or just a regular or you know some ordinary people that are caught up in a domestic violence situation, it's always like oh if the guy did something to the woman that's all that that you focus on. But it's like, but what led up to that point? You know what I mean? What what got them to that point where the guy felt like he had to, you know, do what what, what he did to to the woman or whatever? What did the woman do? You know what I mean? It's like. I'm not saying ha have sympathy for, for, for the guy or anything like that. No, what I'm saying is let's not just look at w what the guy did. Let's look at everything. Let's look at what the woman did as well. What what led up to, to that point? What sequence of events led up to, you know, to, to the act? You know what I mean? What got them there? You know what I mean? But no, let's let's treat the woman like, like, like she's always the victim. The guy is always, you know, the animal. He's always the, the, uh, the uh, criminal in this situation. Let's look at both sides. That's all I'm saying. Let's see what, what got them to that point. You know what I mean? How are you going to solve it if you don't figure it out? Exactly. Look how awkward it is in here right now. <laughs> to get awkward. I said you shouldn't hit a woman. I'm just saying, how come you can't ask questions? You can right. only ask questions about what the guy did. You can never ask about the woman. Why is that? Exactly. It's always like, okay, well, what did the guy do? Whatever, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, what, what, what did the woman do? We're not worried about what the woman did because she's the victim in this. No, 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 We don't know that. We don't know that. We don't know the whole situation. You know what I mean? She could have done something. 
that 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 provoked this man into doing what he did. She could have said something. We don't know. We weren't there. It's easy to look at the guy and, and say like he's the asshole in the situation, and that the woman is always the victim. No, no, no. We should be able to ask. Okay, what did the woman do? What did she say that made him act that way? Why is that? What is that? What is what does answer him right mean? What does that mean? Are you the idiot who got up halfway through the special <laughs> the bit and you're like walking around like I'm not fucking taping a special here? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Fucking had to ignore all of that and now you're gonna like yell out and not only that, yell something that makes no fucking sense whatsoever. <laughs> answer him! Answer him! <laughs> Every fucking special I do, there's always one. <laughs> always right down the fucking middle. <clears throat> Talking about hitting women, sweetheart. And I think you just added another reason. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I love this. I'm not even in a relationship with her, and she's fucking nagging me. <laughs> <laughs> fucking unbelievable. <laughs> Look, I understand hitting a woman's a bad thing, okay? Well, you, how come you can't fucking ask questions? I just don't understand. Like, if I get bit by a rattlesnake, wouldn't you guys have some questions? All right? Mm -hmm. How did it happen? Did you not see it? Were you fucking with it? How did this snake get so mad it almost killed you? Right? Or let's say you're out camping or whatever and you got attacked by a bear like i'm sure there would be questions about that well, what what happened like you know how did you get into a situation where you were you know where, where you you were in contact with this bear you know what i mean or what what made this bear like want to attack you or whatever what, what, what did you do you know firemen put out a fire they don't just drive away afterwards they sift through the debris facts facts and just like, you know, when a crime, when someone commits a crime, if there's a crime scene or whatever, cops arrive to a crime scene, you know what I mean? They, 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 they uh, survey the uh, situation. They look at the, the, at the scene of the crime. You know what I mean? They do the little investigating or whatever, you know, and they, they speculate as to what they think happens. How did it start? Here's an oily rag, right? Look, I realize I'm coming off pretty ignorant right about now. <laughs> I realize that. Let me extend an olive branch then, okay? I realize that there's some animal guys out there, okay? Facts. Horrible guys, you know, have a rough day at the factory, come home, tuna casserole, and just start swinging. Facts. All right? <laughs> I'm not trying to say that those people don't exist. I realize they exist. They should be buried underneath the prison, okay? So if I can admit that, ladies, can you at least admit that every ass kicking doesn't just fall out of the fucking sky? Thank you. Thank you. And like they're not and and like as if there's not women out there who aren't abusive. Hmm? Women don't get physical with their men. Women don't get verbally abusive with their men. I've been in relationships where, where women were verbally abusive with me. So don't try to act like you know, all women are angels and that we should just believe all women when they say that they're in a situation. No, there's there's guys too, you know what I mean? That that be abused by women. But you know, but those guys they, they don't want to come out and say anything because oh, you know, believe all women. Really? Even hockey has two minutes for instigating, right? True. Same with football. They understand that some back and forth happened before that shit, you know? Mm-hmm. You know what it is? It's every case is handled like that Rihanna one, where they just say, the guy's a piece of shit, fuck this guy, blah, 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 send him to jail, and then they never ask anything about that. You know, I'm not saying he should have done it, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying, dude, in your heart of hearts, what do you think was going down before that happened? You think she was just sitting there going, oh my God, Baskin Robbins, you want to get some ice cream? You fucking... <laughs> <laughs> you know? What do you think? Maybe they were having some epic end of the relationship fight and some crazy shit was being said. 
Maybe she was screaming in his ear some crazy female shit like, oh, fuck all your friends, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Maybe that's why I sell more albums than you, motherfucker. <laughs> right? To be fair, she could have just been sitting there going, I need a tissue, do you keep those in the glove box? Oh my God, I'll bring my own, I'll bring my own. <laughs> See, so I totally get where my man is coming from here, man. He's, he's not saying that, you know, <clears throat> That it, you know, I mean that that women are the monsters in the situation. It's not just them. Yes, he does understand there are you know crazy animal guys out there. Again, you know, what I mean guys who are abusive, as he said. You know, what I mean yes, there are some animalistic guys who do who do get crazy, do get wild, and you know, what I mean, and get get physical with the, with their women. You know, what I mean, and are you know are just abusive, whatever. And yes, I agree. Those guys deserve to be buried underneath the prison. You know what I'm saying? But in all fairness, though, you know, when it comes to a physical altercation, when it comes to a fight or whatever, let's not sit here and pretend, you know what I mean, that there's not a woman or some women out there that don't instigate it. You know what I'm saying? When we know that that's not true. You know what I mean? When it comes to stuff like this, you know, the differences between men and women, I mean, it goes both ways. You know what I mean? When it comes to both men and women, there are some women... Who can be just as brutal, just as abusive as as the most abusive man out there, you know what I'm saying? And vice versa. You know what I mean? It works both ways sometimes. Not in all cases, in some cases, you know what I mean? It works both ways, you know? Like I said, I've been in relationships where I was verbally abused, you know what I mean? And women disres the, the woman I was with disrespected me. I just got out of a relationship where a woman disrespected me. Bruh. So don't Play me, don't play yourselves. Just saying. Now fuck that, because you know what it is? They never address how women argue, which I think mm. is a core of a lot of that shit. You know, and I gotta tell you something, man. Like, I never knew how women argued, but after 20 years of losing every significant battle <laughs> in a relationship, I finally <laughs> figured out how they argued. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm starting to turn this franchise around. <laughs> <laughs> I have begun. A winning tradition. This is how they argue, as far as I can tell. All right, if they're right, they argue the point, and they stay. True, they they do. Stay on point and make sure you stay on point until you're down on your knees, apologizing, begging for forgiveness. All right. Facts. Right? No problem with that. Totally respect it. Same. But here's the thing: if they're wrong, they go rogue. They go off road. He's not wrong. They start thinking of shit you're sensitive about, maybe you don't get along with your dad, and in their head they just start concocting this evil statement. Mm. Totally designed, this desperate Hail Mary attempt yep. to make you so fucking mad, you just call him a cunt. Yep. That's what it is. Either that or whatever derogatory name that you could think of, you know, towards a woman, and then it becomes, then and then the uh, fight you know, changes and it becomes about that. You now, oh, disrespecting me now because you called me something out of my name. Great. And cunt trumps all the bullshit they did to start the argument. Now it's yep. not about that one. That's no reason to call me a cunt. And yep. then that's it. You're in this room now, right? Yep. <laughs> my girl knows my big thing is my big fear in life is to be that dude who grows old, you know, grows old alone, has like that basement apartment, just screaming up at the younger couple, turn it down! <laughs> that isn't music! <laughs> so I noticed that anytime she was losing a fight, I don't know where she'd just be like, well, that's why you're just gonna grow old and be alone. Then I'd, I'd lose my shit. <laughs> the next thing you know, I'm in the kitchen washing dishes for the ninth fucking time in a row. This is what the argument was about. I was so right. What happened? So if you learn anything from my ignorance tonight, <laughs> just know this. Next time you're in a battle with your beautiful woman, your, your wife, girlfriend, whatever, and they start out of nowhere. Okay, you're winning and they just start saying that crazy shit out of nowhere. Just know in that moment you've won the fight, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, don't get mad. Bob and weave, slip all of that shit. Maybe because yeah, you got a little dick, just let that slide. Stay in the pocket of the... And uh, ladies, y'all need to stop with that whole little dick statement because keep in mind, if you go and you tell your dude he has a little dick, keep in mind, you're the one who chose that man with his little dick. So what does that say about you okay y'all need to quit that all right because that is such a stupid thing to say i'm just saying <laughs>
it, it, it's got to a point where that's become a meme now. <laughs> and, we, and, and us guys, we laugh about that because it is. It's funny. Remember, you are who you sleep with. You are who you choose. So you chose that person. What does that say about you? Keep that in mind. The argument. Okay? It's over. The argument is over. You've won. Just take a knee and run out the clock. All right? T said just take a knee and run out the clock. Right, let's go. Yeah, that's it, fellas. Just let them talk their shit. Let them say whatever. Just be like, mm-hmm, yeah. You know, don't let it phase you. Don't show any sign of emotion. Just be like, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Just go about your business. Do your thing. Yes. Lean on the ropes. Let them punch themselves out. <laughs> and then in the end. He said let them punch themselves out. <laughs> Let them punch themselves out. That's funny. All right. <laughs> yes. Lean on the ropes. Let them punch themselves out. And then in the end, you throw this psychology right back at them. Well, maybe we should discuss it later when you calm down. Yeah. <laughs> and they won't hook up with you for a couple of days. Who cares? Who cares? You rub one out. Rub one out like a man. It's the champagne of victory. <laughs> rub one out like a man. It's the champagne of victory. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Bruh. That was so good. So anyways, y'all. That was um Bill Burr. No reason to hit a woman. How women argue in full, full segment from the uh You People Are All the Same uh stand-up special, which I highly encourage y'all to go check out. If you haven't seen that, you people are all the same stand-up special from Bill Burr. Y'all need to go check that out. Uh, you, you can find it here on YouTube. Um I believe it was a it was a Netflix special, but if you're not supporting Netflix for whatever reason, you can find the full stand up on YouTube. <clears throat> and yeah, it's it's one of his best ones. It's one it's one one of the most funniest stand ups that I've ever seen. Um so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, basically yay, yeah, bottom line, look, you can have your reasons to <clears throat> whoever you are, you can have your reasons to want to hit your your Love one, you know what I mean? Because, yeah, I get it. They may say or do something stupid. But bottom line is, it doesn't mean you actually should go and do it. You should not get physical with anybody. You know what I'm saying? At least not in that manner. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, it's just not worth it. You know what I mean? It, it really isn't. <clears throat> and, um, yeah. And, fellas, hopefully y'all learn something when it comes to arguing with, with, with your with your women. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> uh all right y'all. So yeah. That's pretty much it for this one. Y'all know the deal. Y'all wanna go watch uh this segment. Or better yet, I'll see if I can find the full special and I'll link the special so that way if you guys want it, you can go watch that. It's it's freaking hilarious. Um and y'all know y'all y'all know the deal. If you're new to the channel, y'all know what to do to help support the channel. That'll be very much appreciated. Make sure y'all do all the YouTube thing things. And until next one, y'all have a blessed one. All right? Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason? JV. I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name's Jimmy Bathos. What happened to that to do with him? So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah!